in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw something on your slide and how to animate it afterwards for those cool custom arrows and selections. Let me explain drawing in the simplest and quickest way. Drawing is available since PowerPoint 2019 and all newer versions. You can make sure if you have access to it by going to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and here on the right side you should have the Draw tab. If you don't have it, if you have PowerPoint 2016 or an older version, sadly you will not be able to use it. You can select your pen. I recommend you to check through all those pens, change their thickness and color to see what they do. One is thicker, one is thinner, and let me show you the two basic ones. With the drawing, you can make a line, a circle, a selection, something that will point to something else on your slide. Why is drawing so important and so interesting? Because Microsoft implemented the Ink Replay that basically replays your drawing as an animation. Now, how amazing is that? You aren't impressed yet, I know, but if you go to the Animations tab, let me make sure that I take the Selection tool. If I go to the Animations tab, you normally select text and you give an animation to it. But if you select this arrow, you can see Replay and Rewind has appeared. You can give this animation a replay and you have basically your drawing animated here. Let me open the animation pane. I can open the effect options. You can select all at once because I have two drawings here. I have this line and this line. Since they were drawn in quick succession, PowerPoint grouped them into one. So effect options, I prefer by ink object. So it is one continuous motion just as I drawn it. I put this closer to my first object. I'll reduce the duration. And basically, I would have this animation ready. Let's draw one more thing. I'll take a drawing. I will maybe change the color because I'll explain something else in my presentation. I'll explain something about Tom and I'll just select him like this. Selection tool, animations, give this object an animation as well. Reduce the duration so it isn't as long. And let me show you. On the left side, you can see Sandy. If you take a closer look, Sandy has something, something, something. On the right side, you have Tom. Tom is actually this dude on the right side. As you can see, I've selected something on my presentation, something on my slide in a really cool fashion and everything is animated. If you want to dive deeper on drawing, creating animations, creating videos with PowerPoint, I've recently published a course. You have links to it in the description below. It supports my channel and it will teach you a lot of valuable animation tricks in PowerPoint. But coming back to the tutorial, one important thing you need to remember about drawing, drawing tries to emulate real drawing. If you drag your mouse slowly, it's thick. But if you draw it quickly, you can see the line gets narrower in the middle. This is why I recommend, if you are able to do so, to draw your lines pretty quickly so they will look a little better. You can always press Ctrl or Command Z to revert back. Boom, arrow like that, almost. Almost. And as you can see, you can this way make your perfect arrow. All right, this is enough of my sound effects. This is everything I wanted to explain you about drawing. There is also a ruler that can help you draw along the ruler, but I am not a big fan of it because we have to press Shift F6 to enter the edit mode. Then we have to press Alt and use our arrow keys to rotate it. I wish we could just click here and rotate it around. Sadly, for now, the ruler isn't really a great option for me, at least. So I am not sure about this feature, but the pens themselves are really cool. The selection tools are okay. And for my personal use, I just prefer to draw some lines, draw some doodling around and animate it with the animation tab and the replay rewind function. This is everything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You've learned a lot and you've expanded your PowerPoint knowledge once again. See you in other tutorials.